tell us about how um, groups and research groups are organized and how the, how the funding works and some of those processes because I think part of the thing as a as a Westerner is we, we don't really know how the system works right so so we hear sometimes that there is money available but how how, how is it distributed and you know and maybe how but just if you, if you tell me I don't even know what to ask uh, oh so 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 Liang about, about just uh, how 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 the how the funding situation works in China and uh, and groups and laboratories. Okay. Okay. Uh, in my experience, uh, so the funding basically can be divided into two major groups. So one is so-called government funding. Second part is the industrial funding. The government funding can also be divided into you know state funding, which is come from the national government. Uh, in engineering, we have so-called natural science foundation of China which is for short NSFC, which is pretty close to NSF in the United States. And and also very close to EPSRC in UK. Uh, so uh, the NSFC invites personal application, which is you know just based on your own research. It could be three years a proposal for young investigators whose age is less than, let me say, 35. So for you know, more senior researchers, you can apply for four years grant. Uh, the amount of funding, let me say, okay, has, depends on different majors. In my majors, it's around like, uh, if I convert, convert that value to JP, GPB, you know, takes, okay, let me say uh, 30K for young investigators, maybe like 80K for a four years proposal, that's for the NSFC part. And that's for personal funding. And you can also have a research group uh, for apply for bigger fundings, but that, that, that needs at least uh, you know, uh, one PI and several core PIs. But that amount of money depends on the project, could be million or billion. That depends on what you are doing. If you are, and for example, you have a, if you propose to launch a satellite to observe like you know, uh, gray matters or black, black hole stuff, that could you know, give you uh, much more money and significantly more money than that. So that's a, uh, a state funding for you know uh, provincial funding. You know at the uh, like China has uh, different provinces, so provincial government also provide fundings. But those fundings are you know is uh, somehow uh, uh, let me say uh, diversified across the whole country in some well-developed uh, provinces like you know in the coastal provinces the funding is you know it's, it's there are may, so many fundings that you, you may be able to apply that and some fundings require you to have collaborations with some companies with industry so you can fire a joint proposal and some fundings just like NSFC you have to you know find a, a, your own topic and working on that for the like you know, three or four years and you know, before, and so that's basically that's a funding whole funding system. So how to spend the money is a different question, <laughs> and we really have a very different accounting system uh, than the uh, you know you know different uh, than the Western countries. Uh, for example, as uh, Huai Yi told us that. The postdocs and the research assistants actually are paid by the government, not by the funding of the faculties. So the faculties can use their money to do only several things. For example, travel grants, uh, conference re registration, publication fee. Uh, we also pay like power, especially in some uh, laboratories. You need to use you know a lot of uh, yeah. electricity, water. Uh, natural gases, so things. Um, another significant portion of the money goes to uh, facilities, like you can use the money to you know make your room looks better, buy like air conditioner, like necessary devices, equipments. So there basically only five directions you can spend your money, but uh, the money are not, you know, in Western countries, most of the money goes to like. Uh, like research assistantship, teaching assistantship, but in China it's not. Mm -hmm. You use your money for research purpose only, not for like human resources. Uh, great. So that, I'm gonna